everybody I'm talking about uh, WebAssign and Cengage right now and how to set up automatic extensions and how to request an automatic extension let me open up the student view okay so once in here I'm gonna go down here to the past assignments and I notice that oh my assignments are past due and I have a zero score I want to do them um, right now today is the October 15th so I'm gonna request an extension so I'm gonna click this one request extension now there's two options manual and automatic I have manual turned off I only I want automatic because I don't want to have to rec uh, grant requests I want it to automatically grant requests to students here it's saying the automatic extension period is over for some reason it only gives you two weeks for that so watch I'm gonna close this you're gonna have to request an extension within two weeks past the deadline it's October 15th this was due on the 26th so it's not gonna allow it that's one limitation with the automatic extensions. This one was due October 3rd. So I'm going to click automatic and now some stuff pops up. Um, it's automatically going to give them four days to do this. So if you just click accept automatic extension, it does mention that you're going to lose 15% and that's it. So if I click automatic extension, now the students can now do the work. They are now able to do that homework. In fact, if I go back to this 3.2, it says that it was due October 3rd. What if I refresh the page? I wonder if it's going to change something. Let's see. So if I go to current assignments, is there a three point? Oh look, 3.2, look, it's extended. Now I can work on that homework. And I didn't have to wait for the teacher to respond or anything. All right, so now, so if you're a student and you wanna get an automatic extension, you can do it like that. Now, if you're a teacher and you want to create that automatic extension, go to communication in your class from WebAssign. Go to communication and then go to, is you wanna click over here on extensions, click in there somehow, and then go over here to settings. Click the settings and here is where you can change everything so we have extensions enabled that's good um, I have the class default on automatic extensions notice that um, that's pretty much what you want automatic extensions you can go down here I have this on automatic extensions too you can change it to automatic and manual in here automatic and manual I might think about that since it only gives me 14 days for automatic but for now I have it on automatic I kind of learned this recently so you could, I don't know why it has the class default that can be different than the homework so whatever I just made uh, I only do homework on websites so I'm only gonna just mess with the homework and the class default you can you can do that however you want so as far as how this works you can change how long the extension lasts um, you could also how many times they can request it you can change the percentage, the penalty for, for the extension. You can make it lower, 5%, 10%, whatever. It used to be 50% for me, but I bought it. I brought it way down. Um, unfortunately, 14 is the max here. I don't know why. This should be any number that I want, but it, it only allows me to extend it for 14 days after it was due. So the extension window closes after 14 days. So. If you're a student, you have 14 days to request an extension or else I like it's impossible. I can't do it. Um, and then, yeah, apply automatic extension policy to assignments that have already been scheduled. So that's good to check, too. So that's it. That's how you do it. If you're a teacher and you want to set up automatic extensions, you're going to you're going to go to your class. You're going to go to communication. You're going to go to the extensions click there to the five unanswered and then go over here to settings and then make sure you enable them and I, I I just changed the class default and the homework to like the same thing and that's pretty much it